And let's focus on Wall Street right now, hitting a high note as it rings in the new year. The Dow Jones Industrial is now at the highest point since November. That's good news. The S&P 500 is enjoying its best start to a year since 2003. And shares of General Motors, GM, one of the big three, surging 14% with the automaker getting a rescue loan from the government. So does this mean that we are now putting the bad eco economic times behind us? One would hope so, but business consultant and author of the Carrot Principle, Chester Elton, joins us right now to share his insights on this. Uh, what can we say? We've, we've seen that uh, so far the year 2009 has gotten off to a great start. If we see the Dow continue to go up on Monday, could that be an indication that we could see some recovery? Well, I'm ever the optimist. You know, I, I love a good start to a good year, but um, I, I think without a doubt, there's a lot more to be done before we're, you know, past the uh, economic debacle that we found ourselves in so far. Well, when you say a lot more to be done, what do you think has to be done? Well, I, I like the trend of what we're doing, you know, investing in long-term businesses. The thing that I'd really like to see along with these stimulus, stimulus packages is the investment in people. You know, a lot of times in economic downturns, what a lot of companies do is they, they cut back their training, they cut back their investment in the people side, the, you know, the leadership side. I think that that's got to happen and got to continue so that we build up our people skills along with these new industries and new investments that we're making in the companies. Without that people factor, I don't think it'll last. That people factor being a part of that carrot principle, put it out there and make sure that people start growing and developing and growing those businesses. Uh, but to that end, what about the confidence factor in Wall Street? Uh, how is that restored? Well, I, I think that comes on the slow build, you know, and to me, it really does. When you get into your businesses, it starts at that managerial level. You know, in our research that we did, we found that managers that were very encouraging, that, that, that carrot, that development, that path to, you know, um, opportunity within the companies that they excelled in four basic areas. One was they were better goal setters. They were better communicators. And I think right now leaders have to communicate in a very powerful way what's in store, how we're going to get past this. To your point, in Wall Street, they developed high levels of trust and they held people accountable. And I think those are the four basics of leadership that everybody in business has to get back to if we're going to pull out of this. And, and those, those leadership skills that we've seen because of uh, the greed and avarice uh, within the financial community, subprime mortgages, uh, the bailouts that we're talking about, we've seen that a lot of people have just abandoned these principles uh, recklessly. No question. If, if there's anything that's that's been broken, along with you know all the you know Dow and everything, it's we, we've broken trust, not just with our employees but with our consumers, and and we've got to get back to that. We've got to start communicating. We've got to start building that leadership. And, and I'm of the belief that in these tough times, that great leaders do emerge. So I, I'm actually very excited about this year to see which really great business leaders are going to step up and restore that trust, build great people build solid companies that you know have that trust not just of the consumer but also of their employees and and, and pull us out of this debacle yeah Chester you make a very good point adversity does challenge our character and uh, determines what kind of character we have but Chester Elton joining us and uh, you, you you said that you were not an optimist but yet you went on to make an argument for an optimist so we'll believe the glass is half full and we'll see a better 2009 thank you sir you bet all right